Thank you for joining us with Open Mic Friday. We have a special guest here today, Bill Pitzer with Foothill Firearm, a brand new business upcountry. Welcome, Bill, to the show. I appreciate you coming on. I know we talked, oh, we talked and talked about getting you on the show uh, during that last period, uh, you know, a few months ago with all the gun activity. Mm -hmm. And we kept saying, well, wait until things settle down and then we'll have you on the show. Well, yeah. things never settled down. What the heck happened? This whole issue, I mean, you opened up this Foothill Firearm Supply business and mm -hmm. you, uh, you were right on the, the curve of the uh, life cycle of all that happening. Exactly. What, what timing to uh, start a new business and come into the area? Yeah, I mean, some may say that. I mean, it's, it's still been kind of rocky, you know. I mean, it's been, it's been a real good start because of that, because there's been a big push for people buying, you know, guns and ammunition, not knowing what the laws are going to become. So uh, it, it's been great for business, but then on it's kind of a double-edged sword. The other side of it is is it's really ran the manufacturers down to no inventory, you know, so they're having to ramp up, you know, their schedules to try to keep producing guns, so then it's, it makes it hard for me to get inventory. Well, so. we've got a heck of a show today. We're going to actually show quite a few guns in the second part of the show. <clears throat> but I want to, you know, this is kind of a profile show, and you're new to this particular business. You've been in the county for a long time. Oh, I know yeah. you were at the Rancheria doing uh, surveillance. Uh, surveillance, yeah, surveillance for nearly 14 years. Yeah. A long time, 14 yeah, years. Yeah, almost so, 14 years. Yeah. So you're an old local. That, yeah. uh, you, did you always want to get into the gun business? How did that come about? Yeah, I've always been. I've always been a gun nut. I mean, everybody in my family has always shot and stuff like that. Uh, my father was a uh, police officer when I was young, so I was always, you know, around guns and learned how to handle them at a young age. And it's something I've always been into and always wanted to do. Um, then when I had the opportunity to do so, I'm like, you know, I'm going to do something I want to do, something I enjoy, you know, and try to build something for my uh, children's future. So. And I can tell it's a real passion for you. And you enjoy it and you know being in that business uh, do we have any gun shops in Amador County I mean, what other uh, yeah there's I think there's one other one we won't talk about oh I think way over yeah. way over an hour or something yeah. the uh, you know you have to have a passion and a detail for that sort of thing and, mm -hmm. and you're a no-nonsense uh, you know I've I've been around a little while and I've we've chatted a few times I know you don't have any nicknames it's just no, Bill that's right it's just, just Bill. Bill and uh, you're kind of a matter-of-fact uh, person I've seen you manage the the, the business and uh, you know I think people really look to that in terms of someone who is just really paying attention to detail and just mm -hmm. a no-nonsense type of, of, of operator you know you get a lot of uh, people in there it's a big issue it's a controversial uh, issue and you get I know you I've heard a lot of discussions in there both ends of the spectrum oh yeah uh, times I mean it could be like a beauty shop in there yeah. I mean they just you know <laughs> <laughs> just talk talking. about current events and oh, just you yeah. know people get to rant and raving and stuff and yeah. it's just it's yeah it's, it's a real you know hot button issue right now well you see all the news you know and you you see the it's been a sea change in terms of the levels of opinion and the change and it looks like nine out of ten people now are in favor of you know background checks but mm -hmm. you know I think we've had background checks in California for years and years and how do you feel about that whole thing it's yeah I'm fine with it because I like you said we've been living it in California for many many years now I mean what they're talking about now as far as it's, it's on a national level you know what's coming out of you know uh, our, what our president is speaking to is kind of wanting to bring the rest of the country you know, up to or or how it depends on how you look at it down to our standard in California because we don't have the freedoms as far as firearms as the rest of the country does or some states, you know, in the rest of the country. Um, so background checks, I don't have an issue with it. I mean, even me, me, being a gun guy, you know, I'm all for it. And most of your customers are law-abiding, gun-abiding Absolutely. Be, and, it, absolutely. You're you absolutely know. right. And a lot of my customers, you know, we had the same discussion because they're living in it. They've been doing it for many years mm -hmm. in California. You know, and I uh, don't see a problem with the rest of the country, you know, following suit. It's a good thing, but it's not going to solve the problem that they, sure, you know, have. Sure. Yeah, I'm not. The magazine thing is completely, I, I think that's kind of a, a non-issue. Uh, you can just keep changing magazines. Yeah, I mean, How exactly. quickly can you run through a bunch of magazines? You know, the guy had 10 magazines, but you could have 20. You know, what's mm -hmm. the difference if Absolutely. you had 2010s or 2030s? Or, I mean, it's just going to be right. a matter of technology right. always keeps changing. and. 
but the background check, I would think, um, you know, we wouldn't want people with criminal backgrounds or mental histories to exactly. be able to just easily Exactly. That's, I'm glad to see the focus shift to that because it's, you know, it, it, they're, they're blaming guns. It's not the guns. Right. It's, it's the right. person using that gun. You know, it's, it's a tool for them to, you know, create some kind of mayhem. And, I mean, it can be done with, you know, a knife, a hammer, a car, you know, right. a truckload of fertilizer. Oh, yeah. You know? Well, as long as it's not infringing upon Second Amendment rights or Absolutely. taking away anybody's ability to have a gun. Mm -hmm. I think people, you know, have that concern, you know, if I was a grandfather and I wanted to pass a gun down to mm -hmm. my grandson and, you know, that type of thing. Or if I had a, something in my past that was a little shaky, it wasn't mental. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it didn't qualify for, you know, uh, any right. mental thing, but, uh, you know, have a mental thing, <laughs> you know, in terms of something you did, you exactly. know, you got into trouble once exactly. or something that's on your record, now you can't buy a gun. So people are always, you know, sensitive to, uh, right. you know, having their rights, you know, Well, and there's regulated. nothing wrong with that either. I mean, you know, like you said, you, you, th you think about it. I mean, if, if people, you know, certainly they say, oh, they make an argument, I've made mistakes in my past and now I've changed, you know, all that and I want to be able to own a gun. Well, you know. You just got to keep your nose clean you know, right, all right. the time because you don't know how that's going to affect your future. I mean, we're taught that as children. You yeah, know? yeah. Well, if I was going to pass a car down to my grandson, he's still got to go to DMV and register exactly. it. You know, we exactly. still have to have accountability. And, yeah. and uh, so it just it does make a little bit of common sense. I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not a, uh, you know, I'm a gun advocate. I, I, I've been around guns my whole life, and, and um, I just I don't see any problem with the, uh, you know, I think, when Obama was originally elected, he, he gave a promise that he wouldn't take mm -hmm. anybody's handguns or rifles right. or anybody's guns away, and he's not right. doing that. Right. Uh, this, is, this is really about not you know, yet. what happened. Not yet. Yeah, it's, not it's yet. a slippery slope, obviously. It, is. it, it all is. is. But the gun, the gun check thing, you know, uh, what happened uh, 100 days ago at that Sandy Hook thing, mm -hmm. that was just, you know, I think That's we're going to start it's seeing, terrible. you know, more and more of that when you start looking at those families and, and thinking of their kids and, you know, it's hard to... It's hard to get beyond uh, the thought of, you know, can we do it a little better? Mm -hmm. Or can the whole country do the same thing that we're doing here in right. California? Right, absolutely. Uh, and you're, you know, you're, you have to go through all those checks and regulations. Mm -hmm. uh, why shouldn't everybody else in the country be this, do the same thing that you have to do? Right, absolutely. Still a gun. You know, that's right. a good thing. Well, we're going to have a, you know, Butter is not with us for the butter break today. She, ah. she had a little operation yesterday, so she had to be spayed and put a chip into her. The chip was so Stuart London couldn't take her because every time he gets, she gets into his truck, you know, I think she's going down the road. So I want to be able to track her down. There some, you go. Of, some of our accounts and, and uh, advertisers uh, have been trying to snag Butter for quite a while, and I just want to be able to find her. But we're going to talk a little bit um, more about the gun business mm -hmm. and show some different guns and we're gonna have a little break this is like a target wouldn't this make a good target do you th do you look at everything kind of as a target uh, when you start doing the gun thing no, absolutely not, of, not. <laughs> oh i think of everything i think <laughs> of, i think a good target i wore orange today for the gun thing you know you don't have to wear orange anymore when you go hunting unless you're like hunting with dick cheney or somebody exactly that, that's how other hunters see you yeah right right well, it's easter time so yeah. we're going to wish everybody a happy easter later but uh we're going to we're going to go to a uh, bit of a break before we do uh, Bill has an incredible promotion um, in the Maximizer uh, this month. It's going to be a drawing that takes place on uh, May 5th? May 4th. It? May 4th, but mm -hmm. it's a $300 uh, gift certificate. If you buy one of these Maximizers up in his business, so get on up to his business, Foothill Firearm, and it's up in Pine Grove, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more of that uh, after the break. But we're going to be back and uh, show you some exciting guns, too, for the second half of the show. I'm looking forward, All right. looking forward to that. That's going to be uh, fantastic. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.